All right, guys, today we're going to be playing Lee Sin in the top lane, the new meta top laner since the last uh, patch, actually. Everybody's playing Lee Sin top right now, you know, of course, because uh, his E has been changed. Um, for the runes, you want to go for Conqueror, Triumph, Alacrity, Last End, Bone Plating, and Overgrowth. Now, I've also got a Longsword with three pots. All right. Now, what I'm thinking about doing in this game, uh, we have two options, or we actually have three options. Uh, we can either go for the Q max and maximize the damage, or we can go for E for the pure for uh, the wave clear. Oh, whoops. Accidentally shielded on the creep. So, yeah, the idea is to either go for full damage or go for wave clear. Which also allows us to trade as well, so... I'm thinking about actually going for the max E, purely for the wave clear, and it also provides good damage anyways. Okay, for the first level 1, I would like to fight him level 1 actually, uh, but this guy is also running bone plating. We're just going to be chilling out. I'll wait for my level 3, and then we can actually trade him properly. Even if we hit level 2, he can still poke us pretty hard. Classic is actually pathing top right now. We have to be very careful about uh, Gangplank's barrels and his Qs. He's running um, Grasp as well, so he hurts quite a bit. Okay. Here we are. Now, a little thing about myself, guys. So lots of people don't know this, but... When I played League back in the day, talking about Season 1, Season 2, Lee Sin is actually my very first main ever that I played non-stop for a long time. I used to be a one-streak Lee Sin for quite a, quite a while back in the day when he got released to the game. Now, I haven't played Lee Sin that much at all over the course of, you know, all these years because I'm a Riven main now, but... I still have... I, I think I still got what it takes to play this champion, so... I know the absolute basics of, you know, wall, uh, ward jumping and... Uh, doing the insect, which was a season 3 thing, if I can re remember correctly. Oh, missed that one. He's gonna try to all in with uh, Qs and barrels. So I'll respect him here. If Kha'Zix comes in now, he could actually take a free kill on him. Still got two poisons remaining as well. Yeah, he definitely knows there's a ward down there. I'm gonna use my W a little bit. Ooh. If that one actually hit, oof, we would have died. For sure. We could actually take him down right now. This is why I took uh, Longsword. Okay, one more E and this guy's dead. Woohoo! <gasps> Ooh, he would have died right here if he didn't uh, go for the flesh. <laughs> this is actually worth it for us. Because now he's losing CS, which is great. This is really good for us, actually. Okay, what we're going to do now? I'm thinking of just straight up rushing Gore Drinker. Thinking about this, actually. Um, we could also go for Eclipse. Go for pure lethality. You can go for two uh, two builds here. You can go for Gorchinker, which is probably the most uh, basic setup for Lee Sin top. Uh, which gives you wave clear and gives you t makes it more tanky and overall good for 1v1s. Or you could go for lethality, go for Eclipse. And then try to hard snowball the lane. Now, it's a risky way of building, but it will definitely pay off if, if you get a few kills. Oh, that one's hurting. Okay. I'm going to use my W a little bit. Sustain myself up. If you're in a really hard matchup, you could also just go for the W max, which used to be a thing back in the day. He's probably in the river. 
He's got nothing to do there, though. Okay. Oof. That would have been such a sick outplay if that actually worked out. <laughs> Going for uh, the Q and the E and the W out so you don't get hit by the barrel. Would have been pretty sick. Look at my E damage. Impressive. Ah. Yeah, nice trade. It's not gonna lie. Oh, we're getting ganked. Ooh, he managed to survive that, actually. Oh. He managed to survive with, like, 20 HP. That is so incredibly unlucky for us. Although, I think we're probably good. I think we're probably fine. I still have my TP, so I can just TP back. And the wave is in an insanely good spot right now. Here we go. Let's beat him. This will be a good opportunity for me. I'll hard push it with my E. See if I can stop the backboard. Seems like Katarina is already cleaning it up for me. I could have actually killed him so easily by myself because his DP was down anyways. He couldn't backport. He wouldn't be able to. Nice. Getting multiple platings. Man, I'm not happy. I, we did not get the assist, guys. We did not get anything for that. Getting this one. Great, that's multiple platings right there. We can actually nearly buy my item now. Good. Time to back off. Seems like this guy hasn't got anything anything tanky yet. Okay. I would really like to buy this item as quickly as possible, but we're not there yet. I'm going to go for steel caps now. It's going to help a little bit against GP. We're going to have to farm up for Eclipse now. Steelcaps is definitely going to help a little bit, although he doesn't like always auto us. It does give us some armor and it gives us the movement speed to chase him down. Okay. Let's see what he's going to do. He's probably going to throw a barrel as soon as I go for these creeps. As soon as he comes close, we're going to go for another trait. The trick is that you get the bone plating from him and then look for an all-in. Oh, I missed that one. Oh. Yeah. Morgana top again. Well... Seems like I don't get to play my lane properly. This game. Morgana's like camping me like crazy. If I actually had this wave, I could have Q him. Probably just all in him straight up. But we're getting camped by Morgana right now. Ooh, this gank is gonna hurt my lane quite a bit. He's getting multiple platings right now. So many opportunities we're missing out from. First the kill that we had here after we got ganked. And now here. He's getting platings as well. Yeah, he's gonna back off. Well. I got a high hopes that we still might be able to turn this lane around. Morgana is currently on bot lane. I got him here. There we go. Despite being camped like completely crazy, we're still getting a kill on this guy. Nice. He will come back with the item now. The wave clear on lead top is insanely good, actually. 
We gotta get the third now. Oops, using it on the on the ward. Okay. We've got my item now. Okay, we back off. We're gonna buy the item as soon as we get back in lane. I will try another attempt to all in this guy, so let's do this. In terms of the trinket, I never really sell my trinket for a red for a red one when I play Lee Sin. I always rather just keep it for uh, for war jumping, obviously. Let's walk around. I don't have my ult yet, but we probably won't need that anyways. I should be able to all in it right now. Nice. Ooh, I missed that one. Okay. You're lucky today. Nice try. Thank you again. Let's push this out. Now we can actually get the uh, the turret finally. I think we can probably get a kill on this guy. Oh, I missed it. Straight up. Nah, I think I'm probably gonna die. Wait. My journey. Ooh, I did hit it. But I couldn't jump. I should have kept running. I'm just not in range enough. Well. Okay. Let's do can you take this one? Okay, he has the Lucidity Boots already, and we don't have R yet, but let's see if we can get a good trade-off. Got the bone plating off this guy. Let's go try to hit a barrel as usual. I'm going to take a kill right here. It's 14 minutes. Uh, my teammates are not responding. My TP is completely for nothing. My TP didn't respond. My team didn't respond. Yeah, we've only got one catch. Okay. Such a good TP. I even waste my turret for this, but my team just didn't respond. Pretty unfortunate. Okay, let's go with this. So the idea of this build is to. Rush lethality as much as possible. The sooner you get all lethality, the easier it is to snowball on their ADC. <clears throat> I think GP is probably like farming out the, uh, the camps right now. I think. Yeah. Maybe even the rep off too. Nope. We're getting this one. Nice. Got this camp as well. We just want to farm up as quickly as possible. I'm thinking about going back top, but maybe we can catch this guy right here. Got another catch. Maybe we can go bot lane and catch Draven and this guy. Yeah, they're overextending. We can take them down. I don't think they realize what they're putting the, uh, themselves into by pushing it like this. Not a catch. Great. Let's push this in. 
And that, guys, is how you make an easy comeback while being camped in top lane with Lee Top. <laughs> we need like 900 gold for Edge of the Night. Let's push it in really fast. Nice. Get this camp over here, if it's even spawned. Probably not, no. Let's go back then. We need like, um... Less than 700 gold to get my next item. I want to try to catch these guys, actually. Ah, they knew I was here. They knew it. Oh, close. You survived my all-in. <laughs> well, being full of that, it'll least in. Okay. No problem. Katarina gets the kill. I still get the assist for it. In case you guys wonder, guys, what the build is for Lee Sin Top, I'll place a link down, or actually, I'll place the entire bold, uh, build down inside of the description below, guys. Don't forget to check it out. Uh, we can actually buy the Edge of the Night now. This is going to be interesting because now I basically become unkillable when I face off Draven now. Because my whole combo is instantly going to take him out. I think we don't even need my ultimate at this point. We just have to all in him with uh, E and Q. If he tries to run, I still have my W to chase him with Ward. And in case everything goes wrong, I could still press my R. So let's see. Draven does have a sense reaver, but he will not get a chance. So basically the idea from now is to keep snowballing on their support and their ADC and Lux, right? You want to keep jumping on, on, on those that are easy to kill. Uh, someone's probably going to walk in. That's catch number one. Now we go to mid and uh, kill these guys. Ooh. Okay. Uh, we could probably still kill. Nice. Very nice. But I need some help though. I'll just walk through. Okay. Time to go bot lane again. Leeson top is definitely 10 times better than a couple months ago. Ever since they gave him this sweet change, he's a lot better now. I understand why everybody is picking this up right now, because it's actually hilarious to play. A champion which is supposed to be a jungler, and then be just playing it in lane. You basically have all the tools you need. Oh. I think you can take them down. I, I was already wondering, like, why why would a Morgana even consider walking up? But I just put myself into this corner where I couldn't sidestep the, the Morgana Q. And then, of course, having a Lux ultimate there as well. Okay. Our next item is... Uh, Probably going to be Sterex Gauge because it's going to make us, you know, being able to tank everything. We could we could also technically go for Ghost Blade, uh, which is another snowballing item. I suppose we could also go for that, but it's not really strong. It, it kind of depends. We could, we could test it out. The thing is, Ghost Blade is a good item, but only if you're snowballing really hard. Where Sterex Gauge is a pretty solid item. Doesn't really matter whether you're playing, you know, whether you're behind or ahead. Uh, Sterex Gauge is always a good item. So it kind of depends. It's uh, very similar to when you play Hydra on certain champions. You only play because you're snowballing pretty much. But we can test it out here. We're currently pretty fat, so... Just going like full lethality mode. Whoever comes to me, I'll just instantly pop them. 
There's a wave here. I could wait for them to walk up. I could just be very patient and wait for Draven or anyone to walk in. But I have no red trinket, so I have literally no idea if there's any vision out here. Okay, this, so this cap is spawning now. Ah, oh, Draven is mid lane. Alright. I'll take this one. Drag it out a little bit. Nice. Okay. And now we have to be very patient. I'm sure they will come over. I'm sure they will try to farm this out. It's a massive wave. They, they for sure can't, you know, stand not taking this one. Okay, it's a Morgana. There we go. It's worth it's worth waiting for. You know. You just have to be very patient. Draven top trying to farm out. I'll take him down. This guy's dead. Oh, Kha'Zix coming on the very last second. Whatever, we get an assist for it. Now we keep pushing. We need like 200 gold to get my Ghost Blade now. Nice. We need 100 gold more. This camp is spawning right now. Yep, it's there. Now we push this wave. Okay. And we go back. Now is the fun moment. If we went Sterx Gate, we would have probably been fine if we went for a Ghost Blade now. Now we're going to have to play flawlessly, but we can snowball harder, definitely. Since we have Ghost Blade now, we have more damage, once again, on Draven and all the others. Especially since they don't play, uh, they don't play like any champion that is building tank. So let's run up to this Draven. Yeah, he's he's, he's right here right now. <laughs> oh man, beautiful. Okay. What is our next uh gonna be? Wait. There's two people here. I think Lux is here too. Yeah, they're placing wards down. They're probably with three. We can go mid lane. And force the turret. We could even dive this Lux, actually. Never mind. She's walking back too much. The camp is spawning soon. We've got these guys grouping up. Okay. Oh, I missed it. Ah. Oh. I straight up jumped into a gangplank and everybody else. Ah, really? Okay. Yeah, that, that was no escaping for me. Honestly, it would have been better if I just directly flashed over the wall again. Probably. But I was already... I was I was walking too far off, so... Seems like... We've actually won this game. I wonder how much damage we have done in this game, guys. Let's take a look. Full lethality. Lease in top lane. Let's see how many, uh, let's see the numbers. I think we've roughly done like, uh, I don't know, 
like 20k damage, I think. Probably something like that. For the damage, we've done 16.2, actually not 20, nearly 20k damage. For the runes, this is the runes that we've been uh, using in this game. Now, one more thing, guys. Uh, this game was being played live on stream. If you guys want to see me play live, I stream like six times a week. You know, link inside the description. Definitely make sure to check it out. But uh, thank you for watching today's video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.